My name is Olivia Arm, and this is my mission, Mission San Fernando Rey de España. Stepping in through the entrance will lead you into the East Garden, which has a wide variety of flowers, plants, and trees. Here is the fountain, for, um, and it was modeled from an original in Cordova. Through here, you will come to the kitchen where they cooked the food for the Spanish settlers and the Native Americans. Over here in the corner of the East Garden is the bell tower. They would ring the bells to call the neophytes to church. Now over here is the workshops. This is the weaving room, and here's the loom where they weaved all the tapestries, carpentry, and clothing for the mission, and they would have dyed it in here to create bright and bold colors. Now through here is the smithy, where they made all the tools and other metalwork for the mission. Now through here is a shortcut to the west garden, which is also filled with a variety of flora. And it also has a statue of the founder of the mission, Frey de Suen. Now through here, we come to... If we step through here, we come to the convento, which was the living quarters for the Spanish settlers. It had a large table for, the eat, for eating, and plenty of beds needed for the settlers. And here is the winery. The process to make wine is that they would collect fresh grapes from the fields. Then they would then they would have a Native American stomp on them in a bucket and then mix it with water and let it ferment to create wine. And the mission became famous for that wine. Now this is a somewhat smaller building, but it is still relatively large considering the fact that this is all the living quarters for one man, Mayor Domo, the foreman of the Mission Ranch. He also had a table for eating and a bed for sleeping in, and in this way, his quarters are rather similar to the convento. Now, if we step back into the West Garden, we can go through here into the cemetery or the Campasomoto. Here, the Spanish and Native Americans who died at the mission were buried, and sadly, a great many bodies were buried at the mission. Here are the fields where they grew all the crops necessary for the mission to thrive, including the um, wheat to make bread. And uh, there is a tunnel of irrigation pipes under this, which is what's helping the crops grow so lovely. Now back into the East Garden, we can go into the church. That is the altar where they prayed to the saints and to God. It has statues of all the different saints from the mission on it. It is very beautiful. Stepping back into the East Garden, We can admire the fountain once more. That is the mission San Fernando Rey de España in its entirety.
I hope you enjoyed it.